Good morning, people. Or well, rather, sorry, no, good afternoon. <laughs> I need to get my times ready today. Um, I was hoping to actually be live from 9 o'clock. However, my game only arrived 20 minutes ago, so I do apologise on that one. Let me get the audio turned down a bit. Yeah, I've got the original red, blue and yellow soundtrack playing at the moment, um, while I just prepped everything, so how are we all today? I do hope you're all enjoying your Fridays. Hope you're all having a good start to the weekend. Ah, I need to open up this bottle of coke before I can even do anything else. Yeah, I did finish off my cup of tea. Okay. <laughs> so what's everyone's plans? Anyone else got Pokemon yet? Started playing it? Enjoying it? I'm going to watch you unbox this and then go and cry about the fact that I can't play until after Christmas. Yeah, I was getting rather angry myself yesterday, uh, Megzy. There we go. Hi! Um, I was getting rather angry myself yesterday because uh, my friend Venom Strife ordered both of his copies of the game separately and got them yesterday. Whereas I ordered both in one and didn't get it till today. So, Venom, you're a bastard. Thank you very much. But hi! <laughs> so yeah. Um, I ordered the Dual Pack Steelbook Edition, uh, which comes with both games and the gold... Um, the gold steel book, because it looks really, really nice. I was very, very tempted to get both uh, separately, purely for the two steel books, but I figured, nah, the dual edition one looks better. So, with the dual edition, I got the game. Uh, I got both games, got the steel book, as you know. Um, and then because I ordered from Shop 2, I don't know if it was an exclusive or what, but I also got a tiny little uh, starter figure. So I'm going to open that first. Tech, there's a copy in our spare room. It's for my nephew for Christmas. I think I could steal it and he won't mind. Um, if he, if he, how old is he? Because if he doesn't realise that you're meant to have cellophane wrapper on brand new games, then go for it. Because the saved files are stored on your own Switch. As long as he doesn't realise about the cellophane. He's 18? Oh, okay, no, he's going to know about the cellophane wrapper then. Okay, I was going to say if he's like 5 or 6, then sure. But 18? No. <laughs> Right, okay, I'm gonna move this down slightly. Please ignore the mess that is my desk at the moment, and camera, please focus. I just realised I've still got... Nope, oh, wrong one. Wait, uh... It's not that. I've still got that on. I don't need that on. Okay, so... Let's have a look at this, uh, this figure. Yes, it is only a small figure, but still, it looks really cute because it's got all the little starters on there. It's going to be sitting on my desk. So we've got Grookey, Sobble, and Score Bunny all sitting there. Ah. Okay, trying to make sure I don't break it. So that is now going to be sitting on my desk alongside my, uh, my Sargalio figure because of when I uh, went and got those. Uh, my Lunala figure. Again, when I ordered Sun and Moon. Um, I do also have somewhere um, a Gradon figure from when I ordered uh, Alpha uh, Omega Ruby. And then I've also got um, a little uh, Silvalion figure as well. So they're, uh, they're going to be sitting alongside there. Oh, and I also have a... Oh, fuck. Which one's this one called again? <laughs> I can't remember which one this is called. Well, rip me. Shows how much I paid attention to uh, Gen Gen 7. <laughs> Still have the hoe and Lugia for hard gold and still silver. Roll it. Thank you very much, Phenom. And then I do have a little Charmander figure in a Pokeball. Uh, in a clear Pokeball just here. Uh, which the wife got me for Christmas last year. Which I really, really like. If she knows I'm a big lover of Charmander and Charizard and all that lot. But this is really, really nice. This is These are really cute. I love these. Especially the, the just the emotions on Sobble's face. He's like, <gasps> what the fuck? So. Yeah, that's a behind for them as well. Now, since Shield is going to be my main in... Sorry, no. Since Score Bunny is going to be my main in Shield, I'm going to go with Score Bunny on there, and then once I make start on playing Sword, which I'm going to do off stream, 
Um, Shield will be my main stream game. Sword is going to be my main off stream game. Um, I don't know what to go for Sword. I don't know whether to go for Sobble or Grookey. Sobble is everything. See, now... I kind of like Grookey. Finum, what, what have you gone for? So... Okay, let me read you what it says on the back. A world new adventure with Pokemon. Battle to the B the best. Dual pack steelbook edition includes Pokemon Sword game card, Pokemon Shield game card, exclusive golden dual game card steelbook, and download code for Dynamax Crystal times two. You can challenge Larvitar and Jangmo in max raid battles. The kinds and likelihood of Pokemon that appear, the people you will meet during your adventure, and other elements differ between Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Each version can communicate, battle, and trade with the other Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. And it is purely one player, apparently. Uh, or Pro Controller. Oh, it's Pro Controller compatible. That's good to know, because I don't have one. Two to four players local play. Two to four players online play. Local play and online play require one copy of the software per player. Okay. Uh, okay. So, there's the back. Just so you guys can see, with all the different screenshots and stuff. I have had a number of friends playing the game this morning. And I have had them on in the background, including Phenom from when he was playing. And left them completely on mute and hidden. <laughs> so that I don't see shit. Okay. Ah. Oh my god, there's even a little frozen sobble on there. Oh my god, look at that. That is so cute. There's nothing on the other side though, unfortunately. No, streaming. I'm streaming. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, okay, so let's open this up then. Okay, so there are my codes for um, uh, Larvitar and Jang Uh Little informational leaflet. Special bonus for the Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokemon uh, with these. Oh, these are exclusive. With these items, you can face Dynamax, Larvitar, and Dynamax Jangmo in a special max raid battle. Ooh, those are exclusive. Okay. Or oh, did you get these as well, Steve? I didn't know that these are exclusive. Okay, I'm happy I got them then. So then we've got the Pokemon Shield. Full, uh, Pokemon Sword, sorry. Full, fully cellophane wrapped. Then we've got Pokemon Shield. Fully cellophane wrapped. And then we've also got the awesome looking steelbook. With his Amazenta and some Massian. I don't know which way around it is for either one of them. But that is really nice. And then when opened up, you've got both like that. And then you've even got part of the in-game map on the inside of the steelbook. Put it like that so you guys can actually see what the inside looks like. As well as the two... Uh, Two game card slots as well. This is re this is really nice though, and at certain angles, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it okay, but look, at certain angles, you can see even the outline. So like, you could probably see it on this side at the moment, um, from where the the legendaries on the outside also stick out because they do stick out from the actual steelbook itself. I don't know if you're able to see that in any way, but I mean, I'm. Mm, it's only very, very slight, but they do indeed stick out a little bit. It's mostly on the central part, though, where they stick out, so... But damn, that is really nice. Okay, I'm highly glad I got that. That can go snugly beside my Legend of Zelda steelbook as well. Jesus Christ, this music is giving me hives. Fucking empty moon. Or Mount Moon, whatever you want to call it. Okay, these have actually got different backs as well to... Yeah, different screenshots to the actual stuff. Can you focus, camera? Hello, focus. Yeah. Whole different bunch of screenshots on there, so... I'm really looking forward to playing this. Okay, so, as I say, shield is going to be my main. I'm going to open up uh, sword first, purely so I can then put it in the steel bookcase. Because that's where they are going to sit. If they are not in my switch case, they are going to sit in the steelbook. Where the hell is the little lift up flap for me to start pulling on this thing? Do 
Oh my god. There it is. That took way too long to find. So let's open that up then. Put all that alongside the rest of the rubbish that I've got. Ah. I hate cellophane. It's horrible stuff. There we go. Okay, so there's the code for uh, my Gigantamax Meowth as well. Some adverts for the TCG on the back. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll have to do that at some point. There's the design on the inside of the case for there. I don't know if it's going to be the same for Shield as well. I imagine it probably will, but there's the game case as well. So that is going to sit... Uh, no, I'll tell you what, I'll put the Gigantamax Mute thing in the steelbook case as well. Okay. So you, my friend, can go in there. There we go, nice and snug. And then Pokemon, she Pokemon Sword can go in there. So that one's done. And then we'll open up Pokemon Shield. Did I love this old style music. I really wish they did this style music or give you the option for this style of music again. Just in one of the games, give you this kind of 8 bit music. Just because it sounds awesome. It gets me a lot more hype than what the current ones do. Too many trumpets. 8 out of 10, too much water. Oh my god, I am ripping this cellophane to shreds because it just does not want to open and pull. Hello! I would like to get into you today, please. Hello! I'm gonna rip this thing to shreds. Do 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 I've got nails as well, and I still can't open this. That's how bad this is. Okay, there we go. It's like it might as well have been literally glued down to the box. It pretty much was. Oh, wait, no. It's like they sealed it as the cellophane was being wrapped. Wait, another map? Another Meowth? Shouldn't it be different? Depending on the version? Oh wait, no. Oh, okay. No, that's only available until 15th of Jan. Okay, that's a timed one. Okay. Not a specific code. Okay. Fair enough. Either way, that also goes in there. I'll have to make sure I get that sorted, but I'll do that off stream. Right, we now have Pokemon Shield. Whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those there. Let's get these inside there. Right. Let me move my chat and everything else over to the other screen. Because my switch actually goes on the monitor where my chat and stream and everything else normally goes, so... There we go. Alright, they're both connected already. Alright, give me a second then, guys. Where's my little controller as well? Alright, let's boot that in. Whoops, I'm using my coke bottle. I really need to get a pro controller at some point, just so I don't have to keep taking them out all the time. I need to wipe on these. Okay. 
Right, give me a second then, people. Right, I'm going to need to max that because I need to adjust it. I think that should be just about the right size. Okay, so let's transition. Actually, let's just move that up. Hi, people. There we go. Oh my god, the oversaturation of my face. I look like I've seen a ghost. It's because all of that screen is pure white right now. Right, let me transition this then. There we go. Now we can see chat again as well. Okay, so. English. Thanks we should, for your support. should probably pause that as well. Megzy! Thank you for the host! Let me give you a shout out. So, Megzy. There we go. So, people, if you're not already following Megzy, please do. She's very sexy. Yes, I used it. <laughs> Please go and give her a follow. She's an awesome streamer, really nice, really chatty, awesome person, awesome friend as well now. So please go and give her a follow. Also, a fellow Crusader member, always worth giving other people a follow. Right. Because this is going to be my main. What? Oh my god, what? <laughs> Again, because this is going to be my main stream game, and like this main character was definitely based off of Onodera from Nisekoi, I'm going with Onodera. Right, my name is Sexy Megzy. Text. That'll do. Yes. Right, I'm going to take those off. Just so I can actually hear it. Also, I have to leave now as I'm not watching uh, any Pokemon gameplay, but enjoy the game. Okay, no worries then, Megzy. Please go and enjoy your day. Hopefully, we will catch up together soon. Um, I need to drop you a message as well about... Um, chatbot so i will get in contact with you at some point today or maybe tomorrow about that but thank you very much for joining me it's been a pleasure welcome one and all welcome to the wonderful world of pokemon our beloved galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature no worries beautiful cities and many pokemon with which we share our lives as you know our society is able to thrive What the f fuck is that? Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. If that's not a Don fan, I'm gonna be pissed. Galar Regional Don fan. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. That was pit of. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. I think I'll find my next cosplay. Oh, he's got a cool outfit. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end. Okay, you know I don't lose battles, Rayhan. Charizard, Dynamax! Fucking hell, that looks awesome. <laughs> I've been so excited to play these games. Woohoo!
Right, by the way, people, I do apologise as well. Um, if there is uh, a delay between what I'm reading and what you're seeing, there's a couple seconds delay between what I'm seeing and going through the capture card to my PC for the stream, so I do apologise on that one. If I end up putting a delay on my webcam and audio to put it more in sync, then my webcam and audio delay is slightly off with the synchronization. So, okay, Hop says hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, oh, that's your, f uh, that your flash new phone, Tex. Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Are you going to do it? No? Hop, didn't expect you to see it. To see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Oh, she's cute. Right, she is... Definitely based off on Adara. Right, I'm going to get a picture of that and send that to Kamushi. Uh, because she's also going to see that as well. Uh, send that to Kamushi. Oh no, Dara is all grown up crying face. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get text. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Tex. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now, I've got to run. See you at mine later. Well, let's get going then. Oh, God. The running on this is so quick. Munch Lax! Wakey, wakey. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone, 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 gone. There are lots of books and magazines about Pokemon neatly lined up. It's a television that mum uses to watch her comedy dramas. Ugh. It's a fireplace that's built into the house. It keeps things warm in the harshest winters. Well, never. Munchlax leaves leftovers around his bed from time to time. Lots of books. Okay. What's this? That up to mom's room. The fridge is filled with food your family likes. Munchlax will come to eat any leftover food so the sink is sparkling clean. Well, that sounds good. It's a state of the art microwave oven that mom insisted on buying. Hi, mom. Rushing off in that state, Tex. Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thank you for pointing that out for me, fuck. Muchos gracias, mi amigo. Uh, da, 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 create a dashboard. Oh, I wonder if it has to be Pokemon Sword and Shield or just Pokemon Shield. Yeah, Pokemon Sword slash Shield. Update information. There we go. Thank you, Ferg. Okay. I last saw it in your room, and don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. It's a simple desk that you can keep using even when you become an adult. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. Well, it's not a Wii U anymore. It's a brand new telly. Your mum bought it so that you could use your game console. She literally bought it just for the game console. It's, uh, it's the bed you went to buy as a family. It's super comfy and puts you to sleep instantly. Well, that doesn't sound healthy. There's my bag and hat. Okay. You grabbed your mum's old bag. Well, yeah, I got to be my mum's old bag. Why do I get how many downs? Adventure code. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. Wow, that is mind blowing. You can save your progress by selecting save from the X menu. You can also check your location and your next destination by selecting the town map. You can check this adventure guide anytime you want with a key item search in your bag. Section of your bag. Okay. Options. Okay, right. We want fast tech speed. We want the battle effects on. We want the battle tower to be switch. Center boxes manual or automatic. Mm, okay. Give nicknames 
Yes. Gyroscope. Okay, don't know what that's used for yet. Uh, that's fine. Autosave is off. Who the fuck wants autosave? Casual controls? Uh, this mode makes it easier to play with one hand. I'll leave that off. Show nicknames. Yeah, show. Uh, skip movies. Off. Okay. Set and end. Yes. Alright, so just to make sure that we don't have any problem. Save your progress. Yeah, I heard about that. Phenom sent me a screenshot of it. Um, I really don't need my SD card being corrupted, considering that's got some games on there. So, yes. Kind of need to keep those. Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now, hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. Okay. Read it earlier this morning on Reddit. Yeah, that's where he spotted it as well. Right, let's go outside. Hoppy's waiting for you. You better head outside. Those handles are really loose. They need tightening before you lose your bag. What's oh, a budu? Or budu, whatever. Hi, budu. Have we got any mail? No. Hi, Hop. Have a look at you, Tex. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's a big ass as... Even, it's a, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. That is difficult to say. Wooloo. A wooloo? But what's it doing there? It's obviously using rollout. I wonder if they can learn rollout. Hey, you silly wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle. Oh, it's tackle. On the fencing. Now you listen. Um, No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slum slumbering world? world. God knows how you pronounce that. Now that's taken care of. How about it, Tex? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? Well, of course you would. you got a bloody head start. You're running on without me. And I can't move. There we go. Hi, Wulu. Meh. <laughs> Welcome to the town of Postwick. A farming town since days of old where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? I suppose it is. Hi, little kid. Hey, Tex. Hopper's looking for you, you know. But no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? Hop saves. It's a well used barbecue. The grill is perfectly seasoned. Da, 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 da. Already spoken to you. I must say, the graphics on this are really nice. Hello! Anybody home? Mum, is he here? There you are at last hop. Oh, and you've brought along Tex. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. You've got to come with Tex. Uh, you've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll work for you out on the route. Fridge. It's a family-sized fridge that can store a lot of food. The kitchen is always kept clean. Hi, Mum. Go on with Hop to pick up Leon, won't you, Tex? I know you're the reliable sort. I'll have everything ready for a barbecue in the garden by the time you're all back. Ooh, barbecue. What was she reading? Porn? Was she reading porn? No. But she was reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Ooh, Glamio. Hello. Picture of Leon. And what looks like a castle? With a church tower? There are books about the champion. Okay. 
All these trophies belong to the champion. It's one of the TVs that Hop always watches the champion's matches on. So Hop, his brother, is a superhero. Okay. That's nice to know. Oh, there's an upstairs. I'm just being nosy with everything. Oh, hello. Hello, Granny. Uh, Leon is so busy that he hardly comes home, but I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. Or is this his room? What's this? The top shelves are filled with books that seem to be hard to understand. Only adults read these types of books. Babe. Did you hear that? Only adults read these types of books. The top shelves are filled with books that seem to be hard to understand. Only adults read these types of books. <laughs> Seems it. <laughs> There's a collection of various caps. Wonder why. Wolfie, how are you? I hope you're having a good day. Hope you're enjoying yourself. It's a perfectly made bed. It doesn't seem to have been used for a long time. Kinky, and I, I bet, more than likely, he would. Like Leon, definitely looks like one of those kinds that'd be into hentai. It's a well-used training machine. Pokemon probably can use it too. Can be better. Yeah, I can understand that. I, I know the I know the pain, Wolfie. But everything gets better. Always does. It's one of the TVs that Hop always watches the champions matches on. Oh, it's a Krogan statue. The posters of the top three most popular Pokemon in Galar. So it's Charizard, Machamp, and Gengar. Really? The sheets are very wrinkled. Probably sticky too. If it's Hop's bed. Okay, back downstairs. Wait, how do I know? Because it always does. Life always has its ups and downs. I'm older than you. <laughs> I have life experience. Oh, there you are. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Tex. Wild Pokemon come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against Wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Tex. So we'll steer clear of tall grass as we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, someone's dumped some gardening gear. Tall grass, go! Oh, don't wander into that tall grass for you if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. Don't you fucking call me mate, you bastard. I'm not your mate, bruv. Let's go meet Lee at the station. He's dead ahead from here. Okay. Fam, don't you call me mate. I'm not your mate, buddy. Oh, for God's sake. All right, let's go. Wedgehurst. Someone made a really bad joke already. Not authentic UK experience. Not being shouted at by random people. <laughs> yeah, Game Freak's impression of the UK so far is that it's really nice and clean. It's not. Oh, you dropped me a private message. Okay, I will have a read in a bit. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. There's a JoJo reference? Oh, with the stance? I don't know. I've never watched JoJo, uh, Phenom. Haven't watched it. Come on, she has. I haven't. Now, un it's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee. Well, that Charizard of yours is too strong for the logs of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Rawr! As Charizard says. Lee! Hop! So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here, I've got it. You must be Tex, am I right? 
I've heard loads about you from my little brother. In the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Me and Deez managed to do raid uh, together despite being on different games. Yeah, you can. As long as like it's same gen, then it's fine. Of course you can. You wouldn't have to do sword and sword or shield and shield. You wouldn't have to. Come on, Lee, and you, uh, and you, Tex. I bet I can beat the both of you back home. That hop. Always wanted to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Oh my god, that cape! Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Jesus Christ. He's a walking PR stunt, he is. I just left his Charizard behind as well. What a lovely trainer. I'm glad you two managed to do a raid together, though. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Tex and me a Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. And grass type Pokemon Grookey, the fire type Pokemon Scorbunny, and the water type Pokemon Sobble. God damn it, they're all too cute. Does this stick always make that noise? What a shot. <laughs> All right, line up everyone. Scorbunny's definitely best though. Which will you choose? Fucking Scorbunny. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wulu after all. Well, let's save. Scorbunny, you're mine. Scorbunny is fire type. It's filled to bursting with fiery passion. You're set on the fire type Pokemon Scorbunny? Yes. Would you like to give Scorbunny a nickname? Hmm. Right then, people. What do we call it? What do we call Score Bunny? Because I want to try and nickname him. Um, I probably won't do on uh, my Pokemon Sword when I'm doing it off stream. But you want me to call it Wolfie? I can do. Bugs. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Give me a sec, you guys come up with a couple names. I'm going to go put some rubbish in the bin and I will be right back. Okay? So you guys come up with some names. I'm going to do a bit of tidying up. Right. Maybe. <laughs> right then, we are back, people. We are back. Uh, I, 
I must admit, Wolf, I don't know how to pronounce it with the J in there, so I apologise on that one. But Wolf, Wolfie, uh, Rainbow Star, uh, Wolf Shy, Shy Wolf, Bugs Bunny, uh, Wolf Dragon, Night Moon. It's a bit of an odd one, but okay. What's your favourite start to Pokemon of all time? Uh, score Bunny name, Scorch. I like Scorch. Like Bugs. Night Moon doesn't sound too bad. I want to try and keep the names in in um, in in line with it being a, a fire bunny. Big Chungus. <laughs> fire bunny. Yeah, score bunny. It's a fire type bunny. Score bunny. Search for search, short for scorch bunny. It's normally what they do with the fire type Pokemon. It's not a problem. I'm just asking for ideas. That's all. I didn't. Oh yeah, I didn't answer the question. Sorry, Playboy. Bjorn. Uh, Playboy. <laughs> it is a male. I could. <laughs> um, I must admit, Bjorn, it's really difficult to think of a favourite starter. I would probably have to go with Charmander. He was my original that I went with on Pokemon Blue back in 1998 when it released. I went with Charmander, and every time I've ever had the chance, I will always go with Charmander. And every game, I'll always go, at least on my very first main run, I will always go with a fire type as well. Guaranteed. So I really like Charmander, I really like Cyndaquil, I really like Torchic, I really like Chimchar. So, the all the fire types, absolutely love them. But Playboy Bunny doesn't sound bad. Uh, I'm going to go with bugs. Even though it's not a bug type, but... Just bugs bunny should do. Where? There we go. Bugs bunny. Bugs bunny has been added to your party. You went uh, with Bulbasaur for your first time. Do you do you normally tend to go for the grass types then? Do, uh, do you find that you've stuck with that? Or, oh my god, I'm really red at the moment. There we go. Alright, I'm going to quickly mess about with my uh, webcam settings. Can I just stick it on auto? No, I can't. I mean, to be fair, it's fine when it's like that. So, it'll be score bunny for you. Nice one. Yes, it will. So, you don't actually tend to stick with the grass types then. So, uh, my all-time fave is fire. Torchic. Good, because Blaziken is awesome. Then I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. Of course he goes for the one that I'm going to be strong against. Fuck's sake. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Why do they always make them go for the weaker ones now? Make them go for the stronger ones. Make the rivals be an absolute asshole again. Just so you can really get fired up with wanting to kick their ass. Friend of competition doesn't get me fired up. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Tex. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. Try to try to reach me. Aw, oh, Sobble got left alone. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. Do you always look better in old games? Mm, that's dependent. I mean, Gen 5 for me, um, easily had the worst looking Pokemon. I mean, for fuck's sake, they had Trubbish. And Garbodor, which was literal bags of rubbish. Alright, enough of all this training nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Yeah, Gen 1 to 3 is definitely the best. I'm hoping for Gen 4 remakes on the Switch, though. I would love to see a Dominant Pearl remake on the Switch. So I'm hoping that they do that in the next year or two.
But at the same time, I'm also hoping for a complete redo of every generation game and just put them all into one cartridge at some point. Is what I would love. Just go through all of them. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on alright? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Tex made fast friends with their score bunny too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at her for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Tex might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. Oh, you've got Leaf Green on Game Boy? I've still got my original blue somewhere in the house. Um, I did used to have gold and silver. I don't know what happened to those. I've still got Sapphire somewhere. I think I've still got uh, my copy of Pearl somewhere. I've definitely got Black 2 and White 2 in Japanese. I don't know if I've still got Black and White and Black 2 and White 2 in English. Um... I've still got my X and Y, or, uh, I've got Y on, no, I've got Y on digital, so I'm never, I can't actually get rid of that, um, and then I've got my, um, I've got my copy of Sun, uh, in my 3DS case, and Ultra Moon in my 3DS case as well. But I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? It, it's not technically the first one I've ever done. I've been doing this for, I don't know, like... 20 years already, thank you. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike, then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. But you don't have the 20 years experience that I do though, buddy. You're going to get your ass handed to you. Apologies for any background noise as well, by the way. The wipe's got the hairdryer on. Pokemon trainer, hop, sent it, wooloo. Go, Bugs Bunny. A Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Okay, so if I go to the Pokemon screen, I can see what type they are, what Pokemon type it is, what ability it's got. Damage and everything else, so that's cool. Bag. Got some potions, Pokeballs, battle items, berries, okay. I can run, or at least try to run. Oh! Well, that's good then. I take it I don't fill in that information until I've seen them, at least. Well, that's handy. Okay, tackle! Bunny, Bugs Bunny, use tackle. Will you use tackle? Of course he would. Tackle him again! I like how Score Bunny pretty much goes to come into contact for tackle and just kicks it. Kick the sheepy! Okay, Wooloo down! Your Pokemon gained XP points. Well, that's a cool new menu that they gave it. Bugs Bunny grew to level six. Poor sheep. Oh, got a bit. I got a win. Bugs Bunny learned Ember. Yes. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Sent a grookey. Well, now you're going to get your ass handed to you. Right. If I go info. I want to see what other information I can find out. Like, does he tell me the IVs and EVs and stuff like that or not? Right. Let's just kick his ass. Ember. It's super effective. D 
Did you already know about type advantages? Heck yes, I did. Told you, you're going to get your ass handed to you. It's your own fault. You should have gone with Sobble. Maybe then you'd have had a type advantage. I think the girls aren't going to do my uh, attack. I'm using special attack to kick your ass. Girl ain't going to do nothing. Super effective. And we win. Your Pokemon gain experience points. Level 7. Okay, my special attack sucks. You beat my two Pokemon with your one, and you and that score bunny are too much. You got 400 Poke Dollars for winning. Okay. I'm rich. Filthy, filthy rich. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Well, that would have been a bit overkill then, wouldn't it? Good effort there, there score bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Tex, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favour to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make him both and make the both of you stronger. I really want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Tex. Before you think about getting gym badges, uh, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Tex. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably be... You'd probably... Be better... No, you'd probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Okay. Right, Pokemon. Check summary. Are these IVs? Because if they are, they suck. Oh, well, I ain't going to bother trying to constantly restart. Just for better IVs. Wait. What? Okay. Tex, did you hear that just now? The gate's open, and the Wooloo that was there. He's gone. The poor sheepy is gone. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? More than likely. But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Tex, what do you say? Hmm. Let's go save it. Right. Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Tex. Okay. Right. Um. Before we do, though. Change markings. Hold item. Saw something just before I left earlier. I could just press plus and it would, uh... Oh, make sure that Wooloo that seems to have entered the slumbering world is safe and sound. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So essentially that just tells me what I need to do next. Okay. Okay. So looking at this then. Got no gyms down here. Gym. 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 Gym? Is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six gyms? Are they sure changing me again with... Not enough gyms. 
Come on, Tex, we can't just leave that Pokemon on its own. I'm sure we can, it's fine, it's a Pokemon. It'll do. It'll manage. The slumbering world. That Wooloo, where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. <gasps> Pokemon! Ah! Oh my god. I want one. I want one. I've got to get a picture of it. Come on. Let me get a picture of it. Show me Squovet. I'll do, I suppose. There we go. Did you see the picture I sent you, by the way, babe? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now have a look at that one. Right, I don't know what type it is. I'm guessing probably normal. So we'll go with Ember anyway. Oh, he's burnt as well. Sweet. There we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Wah. Oh my god, the music changes if you're running as well. Okay, no it doesn't. I thought it did. You're not going to give me any more Pokemon. I want to see what else is in here. Really, I'm, I'm running ragged in here and you're not letting me see any more. Doing alright there, Scorbunny. Let's be sure you're in tip-top shape. Okay, I have had one battle. Yeah, another one. Ooh. A rookie D. I wonder if that evolves into Corviknight. Dark and flying, maybe? Okay, definitely flying type. It used peck. That's a squovert. It's a squirrel. It's called a squovert. Yeah. Why does it look a bit like a trophy? <laughs> Maybe that's the other part of the name. You're telling me that that's not cute, though. No more Pokemon? Again? What is it with this game? Give me Pokemon. I want a battle. Fine. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? I don't know. Another squirrel of it. Okay. Oh, so it tells you what's affected and what's not. Okay. I'm not doing too much damage. That's fine. I want some Pokeballs, though. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Come on, Tex, that Wooloo might be in real trouble. 
So why run off without me? Can't see shit. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I'll get to know why this place is off limits. Ooh. What in the? Grilled. Wait, that's the shield legendary, isn't it? Is that a different form of it? Is that like, young form? Don't even know what level it is. Okay, Ember. Imagine maybe Steel Tide. What? Mysterious Pokemon gaze is fixed on you. What, the move had no effect on it? It just went right through. Tackle. Illusion, maybe? Tex, I can't see anything. You okay? Doing fine. Let's use Ember again. Nope. Can't see anything. Wah! Okay. Just wake up randomly. Top. Tex. Wah, Lee, how you manage to find your way here? Your pants with the directions, you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who made me worried sick. I'd been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue that Wulu. Meh. The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here, you know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wulu's alright, yeah, Tex? I thought, we'd ha I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling and then that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it, I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering world, are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Uh, even if we did get an eel for all from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Jesus Christ. Don't forget to tell uh, your mum we're off to Wedgehurst now. Uh, she'll go spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, how's it that way? Well, there's two would do. Okay, he's healed. That's fine. I wonder why there's two now. Wasn't two before. Hello, Munchlax. Bah! Vano isn't Scorbunny just a sweetheart. And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I, I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Centre, maybe some potions or something. Remember that Scorbunny will battle to the very end for you, so don't go pushing the poor dear too hard. And you, Scorbunny, look after my little Tex. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. How much money do I have? Oh, mystery gift. 
Oh, this connects to Pokemon Plus. Ooh. I'll do that later. Alright, you're probably just going to end up saying the same thing. Let's go and see what you've got to say for yourself. The kitchen. Uh, you found yourself a perfectly lovely partner, haven't you? Congratulations, dear. Well, thank you. Now, can I go at this door? No. Wait, what about the others? I forgot there's two more people in there. You're just. Uh, I have a feeling you, you two are just going to say the same thing. Yep. Okay. I hop. Here we go, this is quite the big step, you know, my first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably try to grow key a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should probably get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Mark out on front of it. Uh, that's the Pokemon research lab? Okay. I swear to God, if you dare fucking block me off from these Pokemon again. Oh, Rookity. No, Squirbert. Okay, so they're no tell but level four then. That's my defense going down. Use a normal tackle to finish it off. There we go. Level 8. Ooh, now knows quick attack. <clears throat> Rookie D. Along my defense, okay, he's taken care of. Okay, so the Squover and Rookie D on here as well. There's probably Wild Wooloo. Found a potion. Yep, there's a Wild Wooloo. Okay, his special defense is pretty poor. Wow, I got a lot for beating that. There's a rookie D. Another Wooloo. Ooh, what the hell? A blip bug. What the fuck is one of those things based off of? Either way, it's going to be a bug type. Fire, go! There we go. And killed it in one hit. Okay, so that's four Pokemon on this route so far.
Now, according to Phenom, there was like nine different Pokemon on this. So close to level 10. Okay, so Rookie D can come out, come out of the grass. Paralyze Heal. A spray type medicine for treating paralysis. It can be used to free a single Pokemon that has been paralyzed. Is this another new one? Nope. Blip Bug. Level 10, yes. Okay, I'm happy now. What's in here? Another blip book. Okay. I'm kinda hoping for more. Right, come on, gimme give, give me more Pokemon. Okay, so I've got around the Wooloo. It's literally just a giant circle round. You wouldn't want to wake up the sweet sleeping Wooloo, right? Better take the long way around. I would have gone the long way around. But I've reached level 10, so I'm happy. Hi, Charizard! Can I not just talk to random people? Subway station. Welcome to the Pokemon. May I help you? Ooh. Okay, so this is where the Pokemon are. Potions, antidote, burn, heal, ice heal, awakening, paralyze, paralyze, heal, revive. Okay. No balls yet, then. Hello, sir. Do all you see out the window of a train? It never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? Mm, kind of. Wait, can I buy a ticket? Journey has been delayed due to a rail car inspection. Oh. Typical! Tell you what, they nailed that down right. Welcome to the town of Wedgehurst. Our quiet borough is home to the esteemed Pokemon Research Lab. The champion's here! Yay! I've just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right it's the Pokemon Lab, on the opposite side is the station. Oh, I can go in houses. Hello. That rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab. Well, Nido Quick, if you're spoiling yourself, then mute the tab and go on something else. That's what I was doing earlier. Look, uh, my friend Phenom, Invisible Diz is still streaming. Um, I think uh, Yachio is still streaming as well. They were, they were all playing it. I had them muted. Just had them on in the background, wasn't watching anything. That rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab, but if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home down the far end of Route 2. But how are you, Need a Quick? To be fair, I'm not all that far into the game, so I wouldn't worry too much. Glad you're doing well then, dude. Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. Oh, you're going to be playing it in 40 odd minutes? Nice. Mine didn't actually arrive until 20 to uh, 20 to 1. Um, I was hoping it would arrive a lot sooner. Um, I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Ooh. I've got the name of that Pokemon already. 
Yappy, was it? What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? Oh, it's Sonya. I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Uh, this is Shield that I'm playing at the moment. Because uh, my main friend Venom, who's like my main rival, as you would call him, is playing on Sword. So, good to see you too, Yampa. Uh, Yampa here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonya. What can I say about Sonya? Well, I like the way she cooks. I like the way she looks too. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. I'm sure she does. Oh yes, yes she is, Needlequake. What kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? God damn it, she's so cute. If it was, uh, it wasn't just Yamba helping you out. I did too. God damn it. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonya. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Tex. She's a new Pokemon trainer. Set her, set her on the right path, would you? Oh my God, his little. Uh, fur ring as well just goes electrical when uh, when he starts running. What does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a uh, Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Bzz. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That's it. Leon still gets lost. So, oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Yay, Pokedex. She cooks and looks good. Oh yes. Yes, she does. Just don't search Rule 34. Uh, just so you know, the Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Yump, yump. Sorry, but you're making me want to play this, so I'm going to go go and play. Well, go and do it, dude. As I say, mute the tab. Put me on in the background. Leon's a right amazing champion, and I'm basically just an assistant. I'm not even Grand's official assistant either. I've just been calling myself one. Somehow it makes me feel a little restless. Is there anything else I can touch? These plants take a great deal of care, but they all seem to be flourishing. Perhaps it's measuring something? The readings seem to be fluctuating. The whiteboard is positively covered with notes from top to bottom. Okay. <coughs> hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Potion. Give me Pokeballs. Put the potion in your in your bag's medicine pocket. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP their hit points gets low. HP is like a Pokemon stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Well, thank you, sir, but I wanted Pokeballs. If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty ten map. All around here is just quite a countryside, but wait until you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. Leon's just amazing. He's a superstar to everyone. I used to want to be a professional Pokemon trainer when I grew up, but I can't think about Pokemon day in, day out the way Leon does. The Charizard pose. Just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. Uh, I saw Leon at the station. He had such a powerful presence, I recognised him before he even got close. Stalkers. Alright, let's have a look at what the Pokedex looks like. Okay, so Squirtle is number 24. Oh, it rec does recommendations. Oh, okay. Blipbug, Rookie Doo, Wooloo. Skullbun is number 4. Blipbug number 10. Oh, it only takes me as high as I've seen on the, uh, on the Pokedex. Because it tells you where, you where you can find them. See details. I 
I can't switch languages, apparently. I wonder if we can do it on a uh, on Skull Bunny. It has special pads on the backs of its feet and on one on its nose. Uh, once it's ready to flight, these pads radiate tremendous heat. Oh, okay. Okay, well the Pokédex ain't too bad. Right, let's save that. Wait, what was that then? Oh, back to your adventure, okay. Hi, Hop. Got your Pokédex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokémon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokémon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way, not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Look here, yet they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Uh, come on, Tex. Bet you've never been inside one. Well, not these types. Level with me, Tex. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. And I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you two get some Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2. Tex, come find me maybe when you're done here. I just need some fucking Pokeballs. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Oh, that's a cool animation. Thanks for waiting. Your score winner should be all better now. We hope to see you again soon. Oh, that sound of the PC. Greetings trainer, what can I help you with? Check boxes. Pokemon boxes. You can keep extra Pokemon in your Pokemon boxes. You've got your own boxes in the Pokemon storage system which you can access at the Rotom information terminals. Rotomi. Find found in Pokemon centers everywhere. You can retrieve Pokemon from your boxes at any Rotomi you visit too. Okay, cool. Is that an Ordino? A Galar Ordino? Got some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask, a, ask away. Rate a nickname. Which Pokemon's nickname should I rate for you? Hmm, Bugs Bunny is it? That is quite a fine nickname, but I think we could give it something. Ah, oh, okay. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Remember a move, forget a move. Oh, okay, so he, he's the move person and the nickname person in one. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They'll fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need and for free. All right, Pokemart. Pokeballs? Pokeballs? No? Damn it. This month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Hmm, do you want me to tell you your fortune too? Yeah, why not? Okay, in that case, can you tell me the month you were born? Oh, one. Next, I need to know what day you were born. I got it. So your birthday is 22nd of Jan. Yes. So since you were born on 22nd of Jan, your fortune is... Let's see here. Hmm, what's this stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. Ahem. People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon or maybe not. So anyway, see you later. Oh. Why the fuck did you just run off? You're handy. In the morning my Pokemon wakes me up and in the evening I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine a life without Pokemon. If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake enjoying the slow life. I heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer, just like Leon. Huh. Berries! I've got your fresh picked berries. What do you say? Interested in something? Orange berry, cherry berry, petra berry. Thanks for stopping by. Come again. Okie dokie. Hello. Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. Ooh, Pokeball. Pokedoll. 
A door that attracts the attention of a Pokemon, it guarantees escape from any battle with wild Pokemon. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique, even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Avatar customization. Did you know that each shop offers a different lineup of uh, apparel, uh, apparel brands? I think the brands they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me though. If you want to put on something you've bought, go ahead and use the fitting room. Welcome to our boutique. Anything can, I can help you find. Okay, so they changed the top colour. These are all quite expensive. Oh, I like those. There are socks that I can't see because of the shoes. I've got loafers. Ooh, different bags. Okay. I like that. Oh, the caps are nice. Okie dokie, right. That'll do me for a little bit. I'm happy we're just changing the bag for now. Listen, text, I've been thinking, if you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take the part, and Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part two. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. I need fucking Pokeballs! Let's see who lives in here. Hello, old man. Sonya and Leon used to be have a healthy rivalry, but... She dumped him. Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out even on practice matches. Is that Sonya's parents then? Uh, basics for Pokemon trainers. Lesson 1. The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the first one to enter battle. Pokemon battle basics for Pokemon trainers. Lesson 2. Don't forget to record your progress often. Basics for Pokemon trainers. Lesson 3. If a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move's power increases. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. I'm loving the look for this game. Over here, Tex. Why does it look like he's just wearing socks? Alright, Tex, it's time we fold our teams in a bit. There we go. And I'm here to teach you how. Oh, fuck. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Every Pokemon has got a type or two which can make it good against some opponents but poor against others. That's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon to cover one another's weaknesses. Now, let's all have a champion time as I'll show you how it's done. I don't want to see how it's done. I know how it's done. This is why a world champion catches Pokemon. Okay, good for you. Do you want to take that long to decide? You got 50 Pokeballs, you rich ass motherfucker. And you're not even going to try and weaken it? Of course not. Just make every little kid think that you'll be able to just throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon and it's going to catch instantly. That's not how this shit works, Lee. Typical Lee. 
and give you some more Pokeballs in return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? You're gonna give me 20 Pokeballs? Okay. The Pokemon on your team will get XP points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course they get XP points from battles, so take on other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on uh, will keep on changing and growing so as you get stronger together, no doubt, but even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'm going to catch loads of Pokemon. The Professor will be shocked when she sees. <gasps> What's this? What's this one? Oh, okay. It was a squirrel bit. No, I don't think an ember will kill it. Oh fuck, it burnt. <laughs> Shit. Eh. Oh, I could have just done, you know, X. Use. Wait. We've got a score of it. What are we calling it, people? What are we nicknaming it? Squirrel's data will be added to the Pokedex. It eats berries non-stop, a habit that has made it more resilient than it looks. It'll show up on farms searching for yet more berries. Pokedex updated. Would you like to give Squirrel a nickname? What do we call it, people? I'm going to quickly go toilet. Give me some names. If nothing comes up, I'll keep it a Squirrel, so... Be back in a minute. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to eat Dave? No. <laughs> How's it going, Cheeseman? Chip and Dale. Yeah, I'll go with that. Oh, crap. Um, I'll press B. I will go back and name it. Right, let's catch a Yamper as well. Right, here's pure electric, I think. Yeah, I know. I, I'm bad with my buttons. Okay, right. While I'm busy catching this, give me an idea for this one. Don't get... Uh. Okay, don't bother with a nickname for this one yet. Where did I get different XP amounts? That's another Scrover. There's a Rookie D. Pluto? See, I'd probably go with, like, my, my actual dog's names. Either Diesel or uh, Shadow. Personally, but... That's why I'm asking, like, chat. See what they think. Don't die.
Right, what are we calling the rookie D once we've caught it? Woodpecker? Sounds good. I'm down with that one. I'll call it Woody. How about Woody with a, with a double A at the end? Woody Woodpecker. Jumping nimbly about this small bodied Pokemon takes advantage of even the slightest opportunity to disorient larger opponents. Yes, let's give it a name. Was Woody Woodpecker Disney? I don't know if he was or not. Right, give me a Yamper. <gasps> What's this? Lotad! It's not necessarily a duck though, is it? Alright, you're grass and water, so I'm probably best to just tackle you. Who dare you? Okay. First non Gen 8 Pokemon is a Lotad. It's good. <laughs> no need to apologize for that name, buddy. None at all. Its leaf grew too large for it uh, to live on land. That is how it began to live floating in the water. Okay. I like the nicknames that you're coming up with, though. Jeez, man. Right, we've got a rookie D. We've got... Oh, they run off. Okay. What's this? Oh, Glamio. No, Purloin. I always get those two mixed up with the names. Gen 5 was Purloin, I think. I just need to see what kind of animal slash Pokemon they are and I will come up with something. What do you mean, thanks for the name? Oh, you mean going with Bugs Bunny? Don't worry about it, dude. Yeah, Bugs Bunny for Score Bunny was uh, was Phenom's idea. Opponents that get drawn in by its adorable behaviour come away with stinging scratches from its claws and stinging pride from its laughter. <laughs> what are we naming a purloin then, lads? What are we naming this one? Come on, give me some ideas. By the way, Pokemon Center left side, you can um, relearn forgotten moves. I've seen you can also... Um, uh, re nickname Pokemon as well. So I'm actually going to need to uh, re nickname the Squovert that I caught because uh, Cheese Man wants me to do it as Chippendale. But what are we coming up with uh, for a Purloin then, people? For no charge as well? Ooh, even better. Ah. Pussy. Maybe. For Pergoloin. Black Cat? He's purple, though. I mean, is a shiny Pergoloin a black one? I don't know. I'll have to have a look at that. I mean, I could call it Felicia. <laughs> exactly, jeez. Uh, fine. Pussy then. Pussy it is. Because why not? Oh, no! <laughs> God damn it, Nintendo. <laughs> You're boring. Fine, Felicia. God. 
God damn it, Game Freak and Nintendo with your sensors. <gasps> Red Fox! Oh my god! It's called a Nicket. Phenom, if it's called a Nicket, it's gotta be from Tipton. That's gonna be like fire and dark or something. Oh, I want one though. <laughs> what do you mean, fuck's sake? Why'd you even censor that yourself as well? No, no, oh, okay. Right, he's sticking on my team. They look cool. Yes, I do send a bunny against a fox because my bunny would kick its ass. I thought he was going to break out then. He's going to be pissed. <laughs> Squirty grew to level 6. Ha! <laughs> I need a water gun. <laughs> Nicked Stator will be added to the Pokedex. Good. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swab of its tail as it makes off with its plunder. Damn. Save the name for it? Just keep it as Nicket? Okay, sure. I don't mind keeping it as Nicket. Alright, I've now got a full team. Alright, there's a rookie deal, I don't want that. Alright, what's this one? There we go. There's the other bug Pokemon I was after. Blip bug. Oh! The world area is bad. You, Diz, Yachi, all in the middle 20s before even getting to the first gym. Have you made it to the first gym yet? Right, what are we calling Blitbug? They really don't give out a lot of XP. Oh, just doing raids? Wow. Often found in gardens, this Pokemon has hairs on its body that, you, that it uses to assess its surroundings. Would you like to give Blip Bug a nickname? Yes. Bug Blip. Blip Blip. Bug Bug. What are we calling this one, people? What are we thinking? Blippy. Oh, God. Fine. We'll send that one to a box. Well, I should probably go back and get a Wooloo at some point. Rookie D, okay. Is this one going to be any different to the others? Oh, different ability. Okay. Power trip. Critical hits. Why has he got the exclamation mark above him? Is it because of a new ability? I mean, what's my current one got? Oh, he's already got a nerve as well. Okay. Egg move then, maybe? Either way, don't need it.
Board and Bearded! Coming in with a raid! How are you, my dude? I hope you are having a fantastic afternoon. Ah, stupid ads. Yeah, apologies on that one. But for me to get rid of them, I would have to run my own ad anyway, so they're kind of pointless. But I'm doing very well, thank you very much for asking. How was Star Wars? Um, I managed to catch some of your stream from Kamushi's laptop. And I must admit, it looks good. One that I may end up getting at some point. No, uh, it's my bad. I raided then clicked instead of clicked then raid. It is amazing. Good to hear. Because I will either get it myself or uh, ask for it for Christmas. Right, but as Cheeseman has said, have a look at the names of the Pokemon that I have had to nickname so far. We've got Bugs Bunny. Squovert, which needs to be renamed to Chippendale. Woody Woodpecker, Squirty, Felicia, as in Black Cat from Batman, and Nickit. Now, Nickit is its original name, but I was told to keep it, so... Yes. But, people from coming in from Bored and Bearded, uh, thank you very much for joining me today. Let me give you a shout-out, Bored. Please go and give Bored a follow. He's part of the streamer notes. He's an awesome person to chat to. Really fun to watch stream as well. Unfortunately, I don't manage to catch many of his streams because of the times that he does do it. But hopefully, you're having a good day, dude. And thank you very much for that raid. That is greatly appreciated. Why are, the name, why are these names a thing? Because Cheese Men won. That's why. Yeah, you really do. Considering you're a UK person yourself, I barely ever manage to catch your streams. If I was at work today, I wouldn't have caught it. Squirty grew to level 7. There's a squirrel over there, more rickety. No! Ooh. I was going to say gimme. And there's a Lotad. I just realised Lotad's got six legs. I thought it had four. I used to be up till like 3 a.m. then work at 7. Figured it was easier to just wake up at midnight. So, how's this? Dude, I am loving this game so far. I'm not very far. I'm only like an error or two in. I've just been busy having a look at absolutely everything and doing my research and all that kind of stuff. But, dude, I'm loving it. If you've got a Switch and you don't mind Pokemon, then give it a shot. That's because generally anybody that wants to give it hate aren't going to buy it and play it. So they're just going to miss out anyway. And more fool them. I mean, so what if some, effort, if some assets have been remade? It basically all links back to the point that apparently um, not every Pokemon is going to be available in this game. Which I don't really care about because there are a lot of Pokemon that I couldn't really give a damn about. So... Felicia grew to level 6. Nikit grew to level 6. Uh, I'm tempted, but I already bought two games this month. Might get it for PAX Pokemon Suits Long Flights. It really does. Now, I got the uh, the Dual Edition. That came with the posh uh, Gold Steel book. Um, so, I got both games. Um, so, I'm going to be keeping Pokemon Shield, which is what I'm playing at the moment, for stream. And then I'll have Pokemon Sword when I'm like travelling to work, travelling back from work, any other kind of travelling I do. Or just basically off stream. Um, I'm gonna try not to go any further in Pokemon Shield than what, uh, sorry, in Pokemon Sword than what I do Shield. Just purely for the fact that obviously then any reactions and stuff and story that I get can all be done on stream first and then I'll work my way up from there. Um, but otherwise I'm highly recommending it. If you have any kind of interest in collecting monsters or anything else at all, go for it. I've got a feeling that there's no Wulu on Route 2. So I'm actually going to go back. Oh wait, no. Phenom, are you still there, dude? I hope you are. Because, um, do you happen to know, Phenom, if this game is like um, Sun and Moon, where different patches of grass on different routes would have different Pokemon? Squirrel at level 7. Let's head back. Right, man, gonna look while I go cooking cherry beans for like 13 hours now. Okay, no worries then, dude. Ooh. 
Ooh, revive. Medicine that can be used to revive a single Pokemon that has fainted. It also restores half of the Pokemon's max HP. Okay, cool. Board, thank you very much for the for the raid again. Greatly, greatly appreciated. You go and enjoy your shower. Have a chill, and hopefully I will catch you again later once you're all done. Be back before you end, hopefully. Um, I don't know about that. My kids are going to be back soon. Um, from school. Uh, I will either finish up and then carry on later this evening. Or I will just carry on playing for it for as long as the kids want to let me. Because the kids can get rather noisy. Or at least my, my youngest can be noisy anyway. I love that healing animation. That is so nice. Right. I need to change a nickname. For Squobit. Its nickname can be Chip N Dale. There you go, cheese. Chippendale. All sorted for you, buddy. Right, can I now buy Pokeballs? Yes, I can. Good job. Right, I've got 19. Let me take it up to 40, which is a 21. I like to always try and keep 40 of each Pokeball. Don't ask me why. I just do. 40 Pokeballs, 40 Great Balls, 40, 48 Ultra Balls. Actually, uh, if I go to not Pokemon, I want Pokedex. Habitat. They are not on Route 2, they are only on Route 1. Oh, they are further up as well, but i got no chance of that one. Okay, let's go and get me some, uh, some Wooloo. Wooloo, 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 wooloo. <laughs> I love saying that. Oh, you could get Nicket on there as well. Okay. Eh, squirrel it. Yeah, you're only level 2. You ain't going to give any XP. That's the first time I've run from a battle so far. Hello, Willu. There you go. Let's capture you. Bleh. Fucking hell. Okay. I'm gonna have to use Ember. Ember. Don't die. Fuck. <clears throat> I mean, I've got some levels up, but... Fuck. Hone Claws. Okay. That's why you never use them, but... Yeah, well, Tackle wasn't doing a whole lot. Wah! Scrover. By the way, for anyone that is watching at the moment... I do apologise if you see me and hear me react to something before it actually happens on the screen. Unfortunately, that is a delay be uh, between what I'm seeing and what appears on the stream. That is because of my capture card having like a two, two and a half second delay, three second delay, something like that. That unfortunately I can't get rid of. The closest way I can try and get rid of it is by applying a delay to my webcam and audio. But if I do, then... Even if I put the same time delay between the two, for some reason, my audio is ever so slightly off. So. Right, what are we, what are we naming this one then, Cheese? What are we doing with this one? <laughs> it's a sheep. You don't know what to call it. No, oh, Scorbunny's level 12. Uh, 
And Felicia is now level 12. Ooh, double kick. Heck yeah. Get rid of Growl. Who the hell likes Growl anyway? Lambstone? <laughs> no! He actually would kill me. He actually would absolutely kill me. If its fleece grows too long, Wulu won't be able to move. Cloth made with the wool of this Pokemon is surprisingly strong. Great job on filling your Pokedex. Okay. Next, I need to catch a Yamper. There are still a lot of Pokemon that you haven't caught. Let's catch more Pokemon. Would you like to give Wulu a nickname? Yes. I could call it Stewie. Would that work for you? I think it would work for me. I'll be alright with that. Okay, Stewie. Because it's a lamb, Stewie. <laughs> Fucking hell. Send to a box. Okay, I don't think I can get a yamper on this route, so that is fine. I'm just going to run again. Wait, why is that one shiny? Why was that one glowing? Why does this one glow? Phenom, if you're there and hearing me, dude, why was this one glowing? I'm going to capture it anyway, because I want to know why it was glowing. Roll out? What did you learn that from leveling up? Because according to Phenom, like, some Pokemon on this can have egg moves without you actually having to breed them. This is going to hurt. Cheek pouch restores HP as well as uh, as well when the Pokemon eats berry. Okay, I'm not seeing anything special with IVs. That rollout has got to be rollout or bite has got to be like an egg move or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna send you to box. I don't know why it was glowing. You get 129 W. What does that mean? I don't know what the W is. Is that something to do with the raids? Either way, let's heal. Egg move, FYI, sorry, I had to wait for ads. Okay, no worries, dude. Um, Yeah, so that Squover, when it was in the overworld, was had a yellow glow to it. So, if I go to the PC... And if I have a look at it, then if I go check summary. Now, if I go to the moves, it had bite and rollout. Are they egg moves? Does it tell me if it's an egg move or not? Would have been nice if it did. Or why it was glowing.
Because my own one, I don't think has those moves. Must be Rollout. That's what I told you uh, about, I believe, and Rollout is Egg Move. Yeah, I figured. So, because well, that one's got Bite, but not Rollout. So, Rollout's got to be the, the Egg Move. Oh, okay. Well, that's handy. That's a good way of doing it. <gasps> what are you? You're different. A tootle. Oh my god, it's an angry turtle. It's an angry turtle. Uh, okay. Tackle. Because I don't know what type you are. Ugh. Don't do critical hits on new Pokemon. Oh my god. Squirty grew to level 9. Wants to learn the move Mist? Sure. What does Mist do? User cloaks itself and its allies in a white mist that prevents any of their stats from being lowered for 5 turns. Yeah, we'll give up on that one. Tootle's data will be added to the Pokedex. It starts off battles by attacking with its rock hard horn, but as soon as the opponent flinches, this Pokemon bites down and never lets go. Wow, it really is an angry snappy turtle. Alright, let's call it snappy. We're going to add that to the party as well. I'm going to get rid of uh, Felicia. I like it gives you the option here to just swap out Pokemon though. Right, I need a Yamper. Yamper, please. Nope, that's a Rookie D. Okay. Okay, Phenom. If you're still around as well. What's with the shaky grass? Are they anything special? Or not, because I'm not 100% certain. What's she going to my dad's? Oh, I haven't actually gone past this patch of grass yet either. Also, uh, I did ask Stay, but I don't know if you heard me or not. Um, oh, Zigzagoon, 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 Zigzagoon. Yes. Um, I don't know if different if this game is like a, um, Sun and Moon, where different patches of grass on different routes will have different Pokemon. So let's have an example. In the first one, you could catch a Pichu in one specific patch of grass on the first island within the first like two routes, but no other patches of grass. Is that the same on this? Let's get this one. I want to call in this one, people. Want to catch it? Could just call it Kiss. <laughs> Nick is now level 8. Home Claws. Thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon, it moves in zigzags and wreaks havoc upon its surroundings. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna go with kiss. We'll keep it in a box for now. I can always level up these Pokemon and stuff afterwards. Wah. Might as well keep on training. See, because if I do have to come off when the kids get home, which uh, is going to be very soon, like in the next 15, 20 minutes or so, um, I'll prob if I do have to come off stream, I'll probably just come off and then play some Pokemon Sword. I need a Yamper. No, that's a bit bug. Right, you barely give any XP, so I'm not even gonna bother. Actually, no, you. Yeah, you're easy to kill. And you're level six this time. Give me some decent XP. Sixteen, really? For level six? You suck. Yamper, yamper, yamper. There's one. Hi. Hi, puppy. Right. Tackle. Only. Nuzzle. Paralyzed. Yep. Right, that does 40 damage. That also does 40 damage. That should do. <laughs> He's got love heart for a tail. But on his butt anyway. Got it. I seem really oversaturated. Contrast. Oh god. Brightness? Yeah, maybe it's the brightness that's messing with me. Oh god. Apply. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. That looks better. Snappy is now level 7. The gluttonous Pokemon only assists people with their work because it wants treats. As it runs, it crackles with electricity. Great job on filling your Pokedex. There are still a lot of Pokemon that you haven't caught. Let's catch more Pokemon. Right. Diesel. There we go. Send to a box. Right, okay, so if we go to Pokedex now, what's it now recommending? Nothing? I've caught everything I've seen so far. That's why it can't recommend anything else. Okay. Really? You've spotted me from that far away? No? Okay. How, how are my Pokemon looking at the moment? Battle boys. I'm paralyzed still. Okay, I need to heal. There's another Nicket. Oh, 
Right, I want to heal before I even bother trying to take on any other trainers. Right. Let's go and beat my first ass trainer. Yes, ass trainer. There's another Yampa. Another Nicket. Hello, sir. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. No, it is not. You are challenged by Youngster Jake. Not Youngster Joey? With his Ratata? No, he's got a squirrel it. I've just remembered. There was a trailer where uh, an NPC had that jumper on. And people were speculating for absolutely ages because nothing got announced for Squover ever. Time to kick its ass. Oh my god. Get your ass back in that Pokeball. Get owned! Oh, so close to level 13. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Well, you're always going to get your ass handed to you then, aren't you? Okay, there's more Squirrelbit down there. Pokeball. Trainer tips. Pokemon can get XP points by battling other Pokemon. XP points help them grow stronger, and your Pokemon will still get experience points even if you catch a Pokemon you are battling against. Two potions. Alright, give me a different Pokemon. No, nope, flip bug. Okay. I think I'm going to catch all the Pokemon I've got so far. I think that's all of them. There we go, level 13. Square to creature level 10. God damn it, cheese man. I'm going to be laughing at that name every time I see it level up. Three Pokeballs. Yeah, I think I've caught all the Pokemon I'm going to have right now, so... Cute and strong together in combination. You are challenged by last Lauren. Lauren sent out Tootle. Alright, let's get a double kick in. Fucking eyebrow. I'll choose a normal tackle to get rid of the last of its health. No level ups that time? Okay. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. Oh. I wouldn't say you're cute. You're too young for me to say he's cute. Oh, look at him being a totally wants you to come and battle me. And then one more Pokemon trainer. Couldn't help. Uh, couldn't beat Hop, but I'm going to beat you. Yeah, I, I don't think so. What do you mean, what name? Youngster Benjamin. Have to kick his ass. Blip bug. I'm definitely going to kick his ass. Die. 
There we go. All done. That was easy. I just beat somebody called Pokemon Trainer Benjamin. Oh, he's got two Pokemon. Nick it. Uh, switch Pokemon. Let's put my own Nick it out there. Actually, uh, he's Dark type. Okay. Yeah, not as keep. Because I got double kick, which can easily kick its ass. Oh my god, that animation where it just sweeps the floor with its tail as well. That's so cute. One hit was all it took. Chippendale leveled up and Nicket leveled up. No, there we go. Now Benjamin is defeated. Lose to wild Pokemon or lose to many trainers. Any others down here? Oh god. He came up out of nowhere. Alright, let's run away from you. Well, that's a big trainer field. Did I just see a splash over in the corner? Hi, people. Look, there's the professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of, Do of the Dynamax phenomenon on yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name's Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Welcome, young... Uh, now come, let's head indoors. Why, hot dear, I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be Tex. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya? I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Tex? Professor Magnolia's been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, they're making a proper British. There are many different types of tea, you know, sir. Hey, Professor, do, do us a favour, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Tex only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in Galar region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. Because he's scared of us. <laughs> yeah, probably. He knows we're going to kick his ass. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. <laughs> Right, I'll be waiting outside, Tex. Everybody's got this type of fridge. It's a fridge with some scratches on it. Did Pokemon try to open it? I was looking in the room. Hello there, sir. Do what plants uh, do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Oh, hello. Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best thing you can do for your Pokemon and for yourself too. I'm going to go me nosy in the bedrooms. Oh my god. There are a lot of books that look different to understand. Difficult to understand. Some of them are collections of Professor Magnolia's research. 
I would not want to be her husband living in this bedroom. Oh wait, no, this is going to be Sonya's bedroom, isn't it? There's everything you could need for the latest in trendy makeup looks. There are a number of uh, sketches and photos pinned up. There are some scientific journals and fashion magazines mixed in among the old books. A hairdryer and barrel hairbrush have been left lying around without being put away. I'm guessing that's Sonya's room. Hurry up, Tex. You've got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is, and to do that I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come out with everything you have so we can prove to Lou that we've got what it takes. I need to prepare. Oh, fine. Guess I can wait a bit. Right, guys. I'm going to save up here. Save your progress. Right, kids have just got back. Um, so I'm going to finish up there, people. Thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure. I will be back a little bit later once uh, kids have all sorted themselves out, gone to bed and all that kind of stuff. Um, I do appreciate everyone joining in. It's been an absolute pleasure, so thank you very much. I'm going to go and find someone to drop the raid over to, so if you don't mind bearing with me, just whilst we do so, let's have a look, see who's available. Okay, right. Uh, if I do raid, invisible Diz. I'm going to send you guys over to Diz. He's also playing Pokemon, so please go and say hi to the wonderful people that I know you all are, and hopefully I will catch you guys again tonight for some more Pokemon, because I'm really enjoying this. I'm looking forward to playing some more, so hopefully I'll catch you guys in a bit. Um... Thank you for your name is Dream Landing with the books. Oh yeah, most likely. But guys, go and spend some time with Diz. Go and say hi. Give him a follow. And I will hopefully catch you guys later on. See you all soon. Bye.